Hello, YouTube. Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ciao, Instagram. I'm saying goodbye to Instagram. Ciao, ciao. Love you all. See you on YouTube. All right. Let me end this, everybody, real quick. There it is. Okay. Boom and boom. All right. There we go. Good to see you all. So good. So good. I see Gio here. Laura's here. Beth is here. Peter's here. Daniel's here. Greeley in the house. Shout out to Greeley, Colorado. Tim is here. David, Eileen, Jet is here. Oh my goodness. So many people already tuning in. 82 people. Thanks for stopping by the studio on a fine fine monday borealis is tuning in adam is here hello hello adam good to see you scott i'm doing well and yes where are you watching from everybody hey oh that's right cameron is here always tuning in awesome greetings from prague run dutch that's awesome i cannot wait to come explore prague I, I want to go run through Prague for hours and hours. That's Thanks for tuning in. CK is here. Oh, he's here. Thanks, CK. Darcy's here. Awesome. That's right. Oh, since we are, by the way, hold on. Let's get it going down in the comments. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, FedEx pulled up to my house about 30 minutes ago. All right. There it is. Oh man, what's it gonna be? So we are in luck. We're un I was not expecting to do this, uh, but FedEx pulled up with a box. So there it is. We will open up that box here in one minute. So good to see you. Hello from Greece. John is here. Brian is watching from Massachusetts, um, from upstate New York. Greece. A lot of people watching from Greece. Shout out to Greece. That is right. Jay is always watching. Cooper's here. DGR Strong. That's right, Sean. Patrick's here. Awesome, Patrick. Ben, uh, watching from Kentucky. Oh, that's awesome. So good. So good. Man, okay. Bonjour from Montreal. Hello, Jason. Thanks for tuning in from Montreal. Okay, let's get a few more comments in. Lee, thanks. I'm glad you made it. Um, I don't know, Peter. What's in the box? We shall. I have no idea. I don't know. It just showed up from FedEx about 30 minutes ago. So that was good timing. Thank you, FedEx. Always appreciate it. Uh, Manchester, England is in the house. Hungry is here. Awesome. So cool. We are truly DGR global strong. Unbelievable. Drum roll. That's right, Robert. We will open up the box here in a minute. We'll let the Live, oh my goodness, over 250 people, over 260 people watching. Actually, that's a good reminder. Thank you. I'm going to tweet this out right now real quick. If you care to share this live stream on uh, Twitter or Facebook, I would appreciate it. Or maybe you're part of a Facebook running group or something like that. Let me just tweet this out live now. Here we go. DGR strong. Okay, tweeting it out now. Boom. Okay, there we go. So, how was your run today? You know, I always like to ask that. I did 13 miles at about 7.15 a mile. Feeling good. Legs, uh, this week I will hit 80 miles this week. Uh, so, the legs are very fresh and recovered from the last training block from the Naples Half Marathon. So, it's tempting to run more this week, but I'm staying patient and uh, just staying patient. So it's uh, not easy, but let me know in the chat, how was your run to day? I'm getting, I'm seeing some pictures of some really cold running in Canada and like, oh man, just some really cold running pictures. So anyway, Borneo is here. Awesome. That's awesome. So cool. Slovakia is in the house. Oh man, that's right. That is right. Borealis, a hundred percent. Um, Okay, and yes, so today's focus is answering your running shoe questions as best as I possibly can. You know, I'll do my best here in the studio, and so I'll start with run one right now. So start thinking of any running shoe questions you might have, and I'll try and get to as many as possible. All right, Raimundo Ortega is asking, I just got the Kinvara 11. Will they work for my speed workouts and tempo runs? A hundred percent. I love that shoe. Uh, a shoe from one year ago. And yes, they will work for tempo days. And um, yeah, they'll do decent on the track as well. Not, It wouldn't be my first choice for a track workout shoe, but they will definitely, definitely get the job done 
um, especially for tempo days. I really enjoyed the Kinvara uh, 11. So, good question, Raimundo. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, indeed. Okay. PA in the house. Nate is always tuning in. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let me jump over. Oh, boy. 300 people watching. Um, okay. Let's see. Jennifer's here. Um, let's see. Okay. So many good questions. I will get to your questions in one second. Um, first of all, though, should we open the box? I think we should. It's 4.15 my time. Uh, let's see. Oh man, so many. Go okay, hold on to your questions. Hold on to your questions. Pause, pause, time out, time out. I think we better open the box first and then we'll get to your questions. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. Um, what's in the box? Any guesses? Huh? What's in the box? All right. Should I do the blindfold test? Kind of the, uh, the blind test again? I think I should. Um, okay. John is here. Oh my goodness. So good. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Try not to. Here we go. All right. Let's get you, get your guesses in. Get your guesses in. Okay. There we go. All right. I think I, I'm always hesitant because I feel like I'm going to get stumped really bad one of these times. But all right. Eyes are closed. Okay. I haven't seen your guesses yet. All right. Let me just look real quick. Um, see if there's any good guesses. Hold on. Um... Not yet. I don't see any yet. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> snowshoes. No snowshoes. Rebel 2. That would be amazing. I don't know. Maybe. That's a good guess. Blind test. Okay. Bobo bars. That would be amazing. Invincible react. That's a good guess. Um, who knows? I don't know. Okay. Flip flops. All right. Eyes closed. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, there's something else in here. What is this? Okay, hold on. Let me set that down. I'm not looking. Wait a minute. Okay, it feels like a really small box. Is it just me or is it, does it look really small? All right, I'm going to open it. One, two, three. Here we go. It feels really small. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay. Okay. And who knows? I have no idea, everybody. I have no idea. Um, hmm. You know, the outsole has quite a bit of rubber. I'm sensing, based, I'm just feeling this midsole here. I'm going to go, because it's been floating around in different groups, like a, no, a glycerin? All right, let's go, let's go glycerin. Uh, is it the 18 or 9? Let's see. Oh, Brooks Glycerin. Brooks Glycerin. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. 19. Brooks Glycerin 19 in jet black. Oh, my goodness. Look at that jet black. Now, they just seem really, the, the box seemed really small. Okay. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Okay. That was awesome. Okay. That was amazing. All right. One more box. Hold on. It must be a Brooks shoe. Okay, we're going to do another Brooks. I'm assuming it's Brooks, right? Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. It looks... It feels the same. It feels very similar. Is it another glycerin? No. Glycerin? Yeah, okay. Okay. It is another glycerin. This is the GTS. So this is the stabilized version. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. So this is the stabilized version of the glycerin um, 19 GTS. There you go. Butter the bread with the guide rail on the side. That's awesome. Okay. So good. So two new shoes. Oh man. Two new shoes to test out for all of you. The regular glycerin and then the glycerin GTS. This is the stabilized version. Okay. Butter the bread. Very good, very good. Okay, let's uh, jump into your questions. I will do my best to get to as many as possible. If you really want, you know the drill. If you really want your uh, question answered, you know how to get my attention in the chat. I do believe. If you don't, just ask around. Oh my goodness, 400 people watching. That's amazing. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so many good ones. All right, let's just jump in here. Um, let me see. 
<clears throat> I mean, CT, I would say, hold on, let me try and find it. CT said, is there a solid Hoka Marathon racer? I mean, the Carbon X2 would be my go-to for your question there, CT. Uh, solid Hoka Marathon racer for a midfoot striker who loves the Cliftons. I mean, yeah. I don't know how, I don't know what else I would choose outside of the, uh, the Carbon X2. Um, yeah, Carbon X2. And it just, uh, it's now available all over the place, CT. So good question. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being a member, CT. It does not go unnoticed. Okay, here's a good one from Beth. All right, here we go. Beth, I see your question. Let me, I always try and put it on the screen. Seth, do you prefer the New Balance 1080 V11 or the Saucony Triumph 18? Okay, let me just put this real quick here. Good question, good question. And thank you all. If you're just tuning in, we just opened the boxes up. And if you have any questions, if you are a uh, Buttermont Bread member, you can use that for the chat and it will make your questions jump out a little bit. Okay, so New Balance 1080 V11 or the Saucony Triumph 18. Beth, the New Balance 1080 V11. Good question. And the reason is, Beth, a couple different reasons. Number one is um, weight and responsiveness. The, res the, the 1080 V11 is a little more responsive than the Triumph 18. Good question. That's a fascinating. Now, I have another question for everybody. It's not quite fair, but there's a lot of buzz about the 1080 V11, and I'm considering uh, comparing it to the Hoka Mach 4 at some point. There it is. And the 1080 V11 is inside the house, unfortunately, but they're different shoes, but they have a few similarities going on. So Hoka Mach 4 versus 1080 V11. Let me know if you would be interested in that running shoe battle vlog at some point in the chat. Thank you so much. Oh man, I saw a super chat come in. Thank you uh, from Nicholas. Here we go. Let me find it. Nicholas and put it on the screen real quick, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, I can't, let me see. I, oh, I'm trying to find it, Nicholas. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Nicholas said though, as a slow runner, 11 minutes a mile, half marathon pace. Is there any benefit to carbon plate shoes, Alpha Fly, Audios Pro? I get this question a lot. <clears throat> I believe yes, but I do believe there's a, there's a diminishing return. Okay, it might not be quite as significant if you were going six minute, five minute pace, seven minute pace. Uh, but I do still think you're going to get a little more um, help. It might not. And I'm not saying it's going to save your legs for later in the race, uh, but just a little more bounce to your um, to your gait cycle. OK, so Nicholas. I think it's. I think it will help. I think carbon fiber plate shoes do help, aka slower runners. Don't you know? You're not a slow runner. You're a runner, okay? Um, but I just think it's a little bit of a diminishing return as you uh, are as your pace is going down. All right, ah, uh, Nicholas, it's a good. I wish I. I don't know. I wish. I wish I had a scientific lab where we could test these things out. If you know what I mean. So good question. Thank you, Nicholas, for being here. Um, okay, okay. Jet is saying yes to the Mach 4 versus the 1080 V11. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm just trying to find the next questions here. Best recovery approach for runner's knee. So I'm going to save those questions that are not running shoe related for later. All right. Okay, hold on. I see another one. Roberto's asking, hey, Seth, best 5K race shoe, Reebok Run Fast Pro or Skechers Razor Elite? Good question from Roberto. Okay, I'm just trying to find it here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, man, there it is. Oh, I found it. I would go personally Run Fast Pro, okay? It's lighter. Yeah, I would go Run Fast Pro. It's a little more aggressive though, all right? So make sure your legs can handle it, that's for sure. But I would personally go, I, I really, I actually raced a 5K two years ago in the Run Fast Pro and I loved it. So yeah, good question from Roberto. And 
Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. So many good ones. Tim is asking, Seth, any recommendations for spikes for my interval sessions? Currently, I'm using my meta racers, but I don't want to overuse them. Um, so, Tim, I am not a big spike guy at this point in my running career, only because um, I'm training for longer distances. But the dragon, right? The dragonfly from Nike, right, everybody? Um, I've heard some pretty great things about that spike. So. Uh, Tim, I, I unfortunately, I just don't have as much experience in spikes at this point. Oh, I wish I, I wish my legs were a little more resilient, but right now I'm not testing spikes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wilco is asking update on the Peregrine. Okay. Let's see where you at there, where you at there. Oh man. Oh, that's a good one. Daniel. Let me just grab this one real quick. Uh, 1080 V11 or Nova Blast. Zesty. That's pretty zesty right there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Nova. I'm going Nova. Eh. It's it's uh I believe it's a little heavier, but it's got more bounce, a little more energy return. Keep in mind that this one did give me some blisters on my uh, Achilles tendon, but that did not happen to everybody and I'd go Nova Blast. Good question, Daniel. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. And then I have not uh, tested out the Peregrine yet. Good question, Wilco. I will get... Actually, the goal is to test it out this week. All right. So many shoes, so little time. Um, Let's see. Okay. I'm sorry. There's just, I just, I, this is where you need a, uh, this is where you need a producer to, 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 to discern through all the questions. Um, Okay. There's one. I tried not. Endorphin Speed versus Nova Blast versus Try Nusa 13. Um, okay. Uh, Endorphin Speed. Definitely. Endorphin Speed, which, well, uh, where is it? Uh, well, here's here's the remnants of one of them. So, remember, this is, this is actually today's thumbnail right here. So, uh, yes, I did dissect the Endorphin Speed just to figure out how they pulled off such a great shoe in 2020 and they nailed it so there's the endorphin speed but i would go endorphin speed yeah good question there okay okay oh man jason hoka carbon x or Saucony endorphin speed crazy endorphin speed i did not enjoy the carbon x that much the original the carbon x2 i think made some good improvements especially you know to the upper uh but i just yeah, endorphin speed once again. Good question, Jason. Oh my goodness. Um, Ernie, hold on, Ernie. Let me see if I can find you there. And again, I'm just doing my best here to find all of them. Oh yeah, thank you for tuning in. 400 people watching. That's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Laura, that is great to know that Laura did not get any blisters from the Nova Blast. Listen, I think there was two people, two or three people that said they got blisters from the Nova Blast. Most people did not. So I think it basically come down, comes down to somebody's foot strike. I don't know what it was. But anyway, that's good to hear, Laura. And okay, I can't find it. Ernie, there you go. Are you going to review any Newton shoes? Have you ever tried them? I have, Ernie. I'm not going to. Ernie, I'm sorry. It's just... Uh, maybe they're going to improve in, tw they're just, oh, it's just such a strange shoe. Uh, for those that are not familiar with the Newton Shoes, which is a company based in Boulder, just up the road from me, but it's just so hard to do, Ernie. I'm sorry. If you love Newton, I'm sorry, but it just doesn't work for me. But, you know, maybe they will adapt. I don't know. Anyway, that's where I'm at with Newton suggestions on a firm everyday trainer don't like a lot of the cushion shoes. Okay, that's interesting. Um, you know, it's interesting. Some people have said that they think that the Peg 37 is a little bit of a firmer ride. Uh, Brian, the, the Nike Pegasus 37. I did not think it was that firm, but some people have been reporting that they think the Pegasus 37 was a little bit of a firmer ride. Um, okay, here you go. Hoka Mach 3, not the Mach 4, although the Mach 4 is not soft by any means. I'm not even sure where it's at. Um, there it is. So, um, 
But I would go, I mean, Hoka Mach 3 was a very firm ride, Brian. So you could get it for cheap right now if you can still find it. Very firm midsole. The Mach 4 is definitely more forgiving, but it's not a soft shoe by any means, uh, especially by Hoka standards. Okay. Hello from London, butter and bread, baby. There you go. AV, thanks for tuning in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mark, I found a Zoomfly Flyknit uh, on sale, that or the Endorphin Speed, uh, Endorphin Speed, once again. But depends on how cheap the Zoomfly Flyknit is. You know, the Endorphin Speed, I think you're still looking at $160. Uh, Zoomfly Flyknit should be very cheap, but the Zoomfly Flyknit is, I think, probably, my guess is at least an ounce heavier, is my guess. I'm not exactly sure, so you might want to check that, but... Again, speed all the way. Yeah, I know I keep talking about it, but actually, I today, today, on the Facebook group, if you're not part of the Facebook group, I know, like, you know, we don't need too much social media in our lives, but on the Facebook group, we have a lot of good discussions about running shoes. Today was the first day on the group where somebody reported that they sent their endorphin speeds back. All right, first person ever. That, it, that I know of that sent their endorphin speeds uh, back. So uh, I'm not saying the endorphin speed is going to work for everybody, but it definitely worked for me in 2020 and 2021. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just trying to get to as many as possible. Zach, Brooks Hyperion Temple or Skechers Razor? Whew, that's, a good, that's a good one, Zach. I'm going Hyperion Tempo. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? There, there we go. There we go. Boom. Okay. Hyperion Tempo right there, right there. All right. All day long, I go in Hyperion Tempo. I really enjoyed this shoe from 2020. Good question. Okay. Um. Let's see. This is good, Martin. What shoe would you choose for a marathon under $140? I would go... Um, hmm... This is a good one. Ah, uh, let me just think for a second. Um, man. Ooh, okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe, oh, okay. Maybe the, <laughs> the Hoka Rincon 1 or 2, okay? Hoka Rincon 1 or 2, okay? Here we go. Speaking of it, there it is, there it is. It's, I think we're looking at 129. Am I right, everybody? Maybe, I think it's 129, roughly. Now, it's a little soft, but yeah, it's definitely got enough cushion to help your legs survive 26 miles on pavement, okay? So I'm going to say Hoka Rincon 1 or 2 as an idea, all right? And I'll, I'll keep thinking, I like that question a lot, Martin. I'll, let me get back to you on that as well okay one second here um let me just look around uh yeah boy oh that's a good one okay i'm gonna come back to that martin okay one say here we go oh uh oh uh oh cowbell cowbell everybody here we go so shout out there he is where is he Brendan Cam, uh-oh, you the man, Brendan. So, Brendan, for those that don't know, Brendan has his own um, he has his own YouTube channel. Go check it out. And I, he actually interviewed me. He's on the screen right now. He interviewed me 10 days ago uh, for his channel. It was about a 30-minute conversation. So, he just became a member of the Studio Superfans. Welcome. We know, whenever there's a new member, we uh, we ring the cowbell. So thank you, Brendan, for joining up. It does not uh, go unnoticed, underappreciated, and it helps me make the daily vlog. So thank you, Brendan, so, so much. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Reese. Okay. I'm just trying, guys. I'm just trying. It's like there's so many. Reese, Nova Blast, Clifton 6 or 7 for easy recovery day. Clifton 7. Clifton 7. All day, every day. Reese, good question, Reese. Thanks for being here, sir. Yeah. Oh, it's you can't beat the Clifton 7. That's right. That's right. Get the cowbell going in the comments. Michael, Connor, I appreciate it. Hello from Central Illinois. Thank you, Adam. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. 
437 people watching. How's that even possible? You guys rock. Thanks for tuning in. Unbelievable. You guys are the best. Okay. Um, okay. There you go. Ernie says, boom, I saw some guys running in Rincon during Atlanta Marathon. Yeah. And am I right on the $129? I think I'm right. I think it's right around there. Maybe somebody could confirm that for me. I'd appreciate it. Oh, Nate is in the house. That's right. Everybody's doing the cowbell for you, Brendan. Awesome, awesome. So, uh uh-oh, super chat. Here we go. Will Gravel. Okay, Will, let me let your comment percolate here into the chat. Uh, There it is. Thank you, Will, for the super chat. He says, the Rincon is actually 115. Boom. There we go. I think the price... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Will, for cross-checking. Um... I saw a post about V Carbon, a carbon plated shoe marketed as having no foam. Ever heard of them? <sighs> I think I have, Will, but I don't know much about them. So, good question, Will. Mm, sorry, buddy. I, I've heard of them. Is it a company called V Carbon? Anyway, maybe you could give us some more details, Will, in the chat. Oh, no, you're the goat, Juan. You are the goat. Um, okay. There you go. 115 for Rincon 2, says David. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Flyknit versus Pegasus Turbo. It's crazy, John. The original Turbo, John. I prefer the... I love the original Pegasus Turbo. I love it. I love the upper. Yeah, I, I would go... Personally, for me, I'd, I'd go Turbo. So, good question. And um, I just wasn't a big fan of the Flyknit. Um, well, okay. Let's see, Nike flying it. I don't know, maybe be, get a little more specific. Are you thinking the Zoom Fly? Um, anyway, John, I love the Pegasus Turbo. So thanks for being here, sir. Um, I have not tried the New Balance 1500 V6. I have not. Sorry about that. So I cannot really comment on those shoes. Reese Marshall, thanks for being here. And here we go. Turbo one over two all day. That's right. I don't know. It's just, I definitely, I did not like the turbo two at all, especially the, uh, it's not out here anymore, especially the upper on the turbo two. Okay. Uh Uh-oh. Rincon one, $92 at running warehouse. I love it. Uh Uh-oh. And I saw a super chat. Come on now. Thank you, Andrew, for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Does not go unnoticed or underappreciated sir okay i'll give you a little update real quick maria true love is doing great she actually just got done with her workout about uh, about 10 minutes ago so thanks for asking maria she is doing well okay let's see um well dermot um fuel cell rebel okay actually yeah fuel cell rebel hold on is it hold on Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Boom. Ha. I found it. Fuel Cell Rebel. And I'm really hoping the Rebel V2 shows up very, very soon at my house. Rumor has it it might be on the way according to New Balance. But definitely the Fuel Cell Rebel for a tempo day over the prism. Okay. There you go. Um, Hmm. Man, some tough questions. Really tough questions. I'm trying, but it's, it's, it's not always easy. Okay, Trevor, here we go. Are the Hoka Recovery slides that you use worth it? Trevor, I don't know I don't know how old you are, but I'm getting older. And I have hardwood floors in my house. And I honestly, it's hard. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to walk across my house when I'm running over 100 miles a week without my Hoka recovery slides. Like I I'm, I'm okay. Like this is like one of the only products that I use every single day. Like I just am an old man. Like, I don't know what to like. My body yearns for these. And, um, but I will say though, Trevor and everybody else listening, I think it's a really good idea to walk around your house, uh, barefoot. Sometimes just to, you don't always want to baby your feet and your legs, but man, they are so worth it. I can't even tell you, Trevor. I can't even tell you. Okay, here we go. Uh Uh-oh, look at, look at who just tuned in. Uh Uh-oh, let's get some, let's get it going. 
Let's get it going, everybody. You better believe it. Look who is here. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? There it is. Boom and boom. Somebody just showed up. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it going in the chat. She's she's jumping in. Uh oh, that's awesome. Hi, hon. How you doing? She's literally like 10 feet that way, like inside the house. So true love is in the house. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, Connor. Let's blow up the chat. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Roberts, that's right, Ra. Old man, what does that make me? Methuselah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Veronica. I just want to say hello from Slovakia and thank you for your videos. They are very helpful. And how's True Love doing? Well, there you go, Veronica. True Love is in the house. She is watching right now. She's doing very well. Thank you for asking. Um, Nathan, okay, Nathan. Oh boy, Nathan. A good upgrade from the Peg 37. I'm looking for something less than 130. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, man. Well, I mean, it's hard to deny the Rincon 1 or 2, okay? I mean, especially at $115. Now, Nathan, it's bouncy. It's softer, but I, you can take this on tempo days. Just And I think the PEG 37 is a classic daily trainer. If you want to go faster in the PEG 37, you can. Man, I, I, it's hard to... Whoa, hold on, whoa. <laughs> it's, it's hard to deny it, though. I would say Rincon 1 or 2 is not a bad option to look at. Okay, good on you. Thanks for being here, Nathan. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think we're blowing up here in the chat. Uh, Connor, ever worn reviewed Under Armour running trainers? Connor, I have. And um, it was the uh, it was the Machina. Something Machina. I don't even remember the name of it. It was, it was like 11 ounces in my size. It was way too heavy. No good. Under Armour has to really figure out their running shoes. Right now, they are not figuring it out. I'll just say it that way. Nike Terra Tiger 7, good choice for Trail Newbie. Um, Terra Tiger 7. Well, let me just think here. Um, I would actually go closer to like the... Um, depending on what you're planning to do, like training-wise, I'd go like Peg Trail 2 or Peg 36 Trail Um even like the Speed Goat 4 from Hoka. Yeah, Terra Kiger is a little aggressive, actually. So I would not go... Um, sorry, where was that question? I'll try and put it on the screen. Uh, man, where is it? Where is it? Anyway, um, yeah, I would recommend going a different direction than the Terra Kiger. I think it's a little too lean, especially for a new trail runner. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One second. Popcorn or Doritos? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yes, Terra Kiger 6. Although the Terra Kiger 7 is coming out soon. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, I love the Peg 36 trails as well, Tim. Mike is watching from Tennessee. Okay, so we've got about 10 more minutes, all right? So I will, um, I will take questions for 10 more minutes. I hope everybody's doing well. If you're just tuning in, 400 people still watching. Thanks for watching. Oh, I appreciate you sticking around and um, yeah, just coming back, hanging out in the studio. And oh my goodness, here's a turbo. I totally forgot. Here's the original turbo. Oh, I love this shoe. There is the turbo. Oh my, my. There is the butt of the bread. This shoe actually, I bought the shoe over two years ago is part of the reason, this is one of the sh first shoes that I reviewed on the channel. So crazy, that's awesome. So anyway, okay, let's jump back into your questions for 10 more minutes. Um, I have, Stefan, heard about the Puma DV8 Nitro, and I'm excited for Puma in 2021. I am very excited. Okay, uh-huh. Actually, let's go back to questions here. All right, get your questions going in the chat. Okay, okay. Boom, okay. 
One second. Oh my goodness. Hello, everyone. I see you. <laughs> Somebody must be asking True Love about all the shoes in the house. So there's True Love's uh, answer to that. You can look at it on the screen. That's hilarious. I agree, Luke. I wish there would be a Peg Turbo 3. I think, personally, the uh, Nike Tempo Next Percent. Here is the in. Here's the inside of the Nike Tempo Next Percent. No. Nike... Is that, am I saying it? Yeah, Nike, I wish they would just go turbo. Just go turbo three, 100%. I agree with you, Luke, 100%. Okay, um, so many good ones. Peg 37 or SL20, greetings from Ireland. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. I would, okay, the SL20.2 is now out. But the SL20 is so cheap. It's hard to not say the SL20. Now, the SL20 is a little leaner through the midsole. So the PEG 37 will protect your legs a little bit more from the pounding. But if you can withstand the pavement, um, I think SL20 based on price. But the SL20.2, I'd say, is a nice upgrade from the original SL20. Okay, so good question, Jackson. Yeah, those are my quick thoughts for you. Rod, thanks for watching from the Philippines. Unbelievable. Yes, I will. T Mills won uh, this week. Count on it. This week. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, Kay. I will do a subscriber race at some point. Adidas Boston versus Hyperion Tempo. Mm. Oh, man. You guys, you guys are. You guys are cooking, cooking with peanut oil now. We're cooking with peanut oil. Here we go. <sighs> Hyperion Tempo. Hyperion Tempo. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm on the fence, but I'm going Hyperion Tempo. Thank you, Zach. Another good question from Zach and another Super Chat coming in. Thank you, Jack, for the Super Chat. Here we go. Jack, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Jack, what do you think about the Kipchoge collection? Will you be acquiring any of the items? Uh, I think it's cool. I mean, you know, I will not because I have all those shoes, I think. And it's just a colorway difference, right? So, but no, it's cool. I'm not, I got nothing against it. Thank you, Jack, for tuning in. I appreciate it, sir. And thank you for the super chat. I think they, yeah, green and red and black is the, uh, is the, uh, the uh, Kenyan uh, colors. So I think it's really cool. Hello from Salzburg. Check out some Dynafit trail shoes. Maybe someday, Peter. Maybe someday. Um, Rod, Hyperion Tempo versus Nike Tempo Next Percent. Well, I since I, dis, since I did not like the Tempo Next Percent at all, Hyperion Tempo. Man, oh, I, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys are going for it now. Okay, we're just doing battles here. So I got about five minutes. Here we go. FNB6145, uh, Beacon versus Fuel Cell Rebel. Well, they're kind of different shoes. Beacon I use more so for easy days and Fuel Cell Rebel more so for tempo days. So it's hard to compare those two, but I love the Rebel and can't wait, wait for the V2 to come out. Good question. There we go. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, John. Oh, yeah, John. John, don't you worry. So how I, John, just so you guys know, don't you worry, everybody. I do trail running and racing in the summer, and I do road in the winter and fall and spring because the trails are covered with snow, okay? So don't you worry. I'm going back. I'm hoping to go to Z Zegama very soon. Uh, I do not have any uh, plans for the on-cloud boom jack but i have heard recently that on might be sending me some shoes so stay tuned jack on that and an update on the on cloud stratus i am still testing it some people have been asking me about that Whoo! so many good so many good questions thoughts on the fly ease i don't know ryan i think it's uh i think it's a uh, you know i would never run in them i'll just put it that way i would never run in them but i think it might be fun to you know kick around the house and go get some uh, Andy's custard and some Fly E shoes, 100%. Here we go. Saucony Endorphin Pro versus Hyperion Elite 2. Um, Endorphin Pro. 
Yep, it's uh, above me. I think it's right there, I do believe. No, no. Where is it? Anyway, Endorphin Pro. Good question, John. There you go. Uh, you probably want an explanation why. I just, I, I'm, I, don't know, I don't know if I can handle it. Okay. <laughs> Hoka Mach 4. Um, yes, David. Okay, good question, David. Hoka Mach 4, your favorite shoe so far in 2021. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting a pair when available. David, yes. David, yes. I will say I'm testing the 1080 V11 from New Balance, and I'm really enjoying that shoe as well. But Hoka Mach 4 is uh, it's special. Yeah, I packed the Hoka Mach 4 to Florida as my shakeout shoe for the Naples Half Marathon because I love it that much, and it just feels peppy under step. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know. I don't know. I I might be talking the shoe up way too much, but it, it really, really worked for me. Um, okay. Mm. Best non-plated speed slash tempo shoe. Um... Hold on. One second here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking here. Mm Mm-hmm. I gotta go either Brooks Hyperion Tempo, um, hmm, Audi Zero, no. I'd say Brooks Hyperion Tempo, or of course, sorry, okay, the Endorphin Speed, you you put me on a, um, the Endorphin Speed has a nylon plate, okay, so I, I don't know if you mean carbon or if you mean nylon as well, so I would go Endorphin Speed, but that has a nylon plate, so Brooks Hyperion Tempo most likely, but again, Hoka Mach 4, oh gosh, I, you guys are going to crush me if that shoe doesn't work out, Endorphin Speed, Verse Mach 4 Alex. So I actually made a vlog all about this. And it was... Did I, everybody? Oh my goodness. Yes, I did, right? I did a running shoe battle between the Endorphin Speed and the Mach 4. And I think I chose the Endorphin Speed. I do believe. Does it... Oh man, I should probably know these things before I start talking in the studio. I believe... I think it was by a hair. But keep in mind, the Mach 4 does not have a plate okay um yeah there it is and hold on can somebody can somebody quote me in the in the in the chat can somebody keep me accountable here but there they are but i believe it was endorphin speed by a hair okay but again this doesn't have a plate in it so all right there you go man go look go watch the vlog everybody okay two more questions and then i gotta go um yeah, lay endorphin shift for long run. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a little heavy, and but yes, absolutely, it could be. A, I, what I remember, Nate, about the endorphin shift is that it, it, it was a little. It needed a little bit of break in time. I would say at least thirty miles and maybe even fifty miles. It just was like a little stiff out of the box. So you got to break it in a little bit. Good question, Nate, and butter the bread. Oh my goodness. Um, yes. Okay, Ernie. Okay. Watched it twice. Thank you, Ernie. You're the best. And Dor- I, I, whew, you put me on the spot there, Zach. But you know, what are you going to do? I'm trying to uh, keep my ducks in a row. It's not always easy here in the studio. Okay. It was close, but Saucony gang. Yes, Nate. Thank you, Nate, for confirming as well. Oh man. Okay. I'm just trying to Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. It's just so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. All right, I'm just going to go here. This is a little bit of an easy one for me, but it's the Gel Nimbus Light, Jonathan. Max Road 4 versus Gel Nimbus Light. Max Road 4. Yeah, really enjoyed the Gel Nimbus Light from Asics. Everybody, that is it. I got to wrap it up. We're going inside for dinner. You guys rock. Thanks for tuning in. I know, I don't know. 
We haven't done one of these open Q and A's just about running shoes in a little while. I'll get better. I will get better. Um, it's just like, it's just processing a lot of information and a lot of running shoes as quickly as possible here in the studio. So I hope you got some value out of that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking some time out of your afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are at around the world. Okay. So butter the bread. Thanks as always. And, um, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Okay. I got to finish up wrapping, uh, editing the vlog tonight and uh, I, I gotta I gotta test the Ultra Boost 21 this week, Glide Ride 2 this week, and um, hmm, there's an there's another one. Well, there's a Reebok, um, yeah, the Reebok shoe as well. So anyway, plenty of shoes coming down the pike. All right, everyone, as I always say, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.